watch it. Now. Uh, <laughs> could possibly be doing that. And the rumor was that there were two men standing in the wings to catch her at the end of the show, like she was about to collapse. Was that true, producer? Brad? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> even, after it was over, it was even more energy. <laughs> it was extraordinary. And, uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you was that that Nicholas Brothers uh, tribute that she came on stage for at Carnegie Hall was 1998. Oh, yes, right, right. That was very close to the end. Right, right. Yeah. One other thing, there's an album called The Men of My Life. Yes. yes. And is that available? Have you any idea? That album, strangely enough, funny you should mention it, um, it was produced by a little tiny startup basement label that went out of business to the degree that the album, I, I, I saw the master tapes for sale on eBay, and it was um, bootlegged widely, that record. Yeah, Mike Renzi is on that record. Well, Andre right. Strata for that. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, I'm sorry to tell you that. But. What label was it? It was called Three Cherries. Three Cherries. Yeah. And it was just some little, you know, very few releases. I'm sure it Sneed had something to do with it. Yes. Yes. Uh, in the, in the Baseball cap. Could you confirm, <laughs> could you confirm for me, please, after my grandfather told me that the Lena Horn was the first, uh, Black pinup, and um, is that accurate or just a focal? I don't. I couldn't swear that she was the very first, but she was the first one of note. She was the first famous one. There might have been a couple before that. Uh, I'm not sure what all of the black servicemen of the day had <laughs> in their lockers, but <laughs> but, uh, but Alina was Alina was the first huge one. Yeah. I think there was a woman in the purple kerchief there in the back row. Well, I was wondering how Lena Horn is today. I saw her on a, a Channel 13 uh, intermission show, and she did seem a little bit as if she didn't really have a good memory. But that was 1996. That was the American Masters documentary on Lena. So wow, that was 13 years ago. Um, fragile, very fragile. Um, not very ambulatory. Uh, reading is Le was always Lena's pride and joy. And some years ago, her eyes failed her, so she wasn't really able to read anymore. So the, the answer to that is, is not so great. But she's, something in her will not let go. Isn't it interesting? I mean, she's been a, 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 such a survivor from her extreme childhood. And you don't just turn that on. It was her programming. It got her through 90 some odd years of life. And uh, it seems to still be in place. I think we have time for maybe two more. And there's a woman there in the hat. Yeah. Hi, Jim. Hi, Gay Marshall. Now, OK. <laughs> this is an absolutely is wonderful. Gay Marshall is her name. One of my favorite cabaret performers and stage performers. And uh, she ran for one year in the uh, Jacques Brel revival at the Zipper Theater. And I just love her. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just, I'm so happy about your book. But my, my question is that I know that Lena Horn uh, has a daughter. And I was just wondering is her relationship with her daughter a reflection? of the relationship that she had with her mother, or were, was she able to create a relationship that is oh closer? My. Um, oh my is that a bad question? <laughs> oh, that's an intense question. Um, the, the children of, I mean, the, the children of the famous have such a hard road of it as it is. Could you imagine what it must be like to be the daughter of Leo Horn? Uh, Gail Lumet Buckley, in my opinion, has handled that role with enormous grace. And um, she's a real lady in the sense that, that, that Alina, as a child, was brought up when late lady really meant something. It was such an important adjective. She's a, a classy, classy gal. Um, and uh, the relationship with her mother has been, by her own admission, obviously very, very complicated. But up until a few years ago, no, no, a few years ago, they were having um, lunch together. That's a good sign. So I think that they finally managed to come to terms. You'd have to ask Gail for more details, but that's what I understand. Yeah, I think so. Uh, 
Maybe one more question. Concerning her opinions of the um, evolution of black movie stars, singers, the cha basically the changes that have occurred, you know, uh, in the last 15, 20 years. I wonder how many changes have occurred. How much work do black actresses in Hollywood now have? How, how different are things really from the days of Mino Horn? I mean, there's certainly no equivalent of Mino Horn on screen today. Um, Lena was, when the black exploitation craze came along in the 1970s, I think Lena was quite appalled by that. Uh, it seemed to her and to many people like a huge step backwards. Um, beyond that, I can't really answer that. I, I don't quite know. Um, but uh, it's not, things haven't, they're not much better now. A little bit. Hi. I'm just thinking of. Uh, Billie Holiday, Lady Day, and uh, Dinah Washington. I mean, there are wonderful people. Uh, I mean, I, I can't say all the names. Uh, Louis Armstrong, like all the greats that so make us so full of joy. A lot of them came along on the shoulders of Lena Horne, I feel. Billy is earlier, of course. Ethel Waters is, Ethel Waters. is a, a gigantically important this whole voice. story. Great singer, great actress. Paul Robeson. Paul Robeson, indeed. There was a whole tradition before. Ray mm -hmm. Charles. Um, Who am I forgetting? Question. I mean, to me it's important. I just wanted to ask yes. about her grandchildren. And in, in the same way that nepotism, nepotism can help uh, people like Liza Minnelli or some of the other Hollywood stars' children, I mean, have they tried to be in uh, movies or show business in our day? Uh, well, Jenny Lumet wrote the screenplay for Rachel Getting Married. Mm -hmm. it's not so, that's not so shabby. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they're the daughters of Sidney Lumet. They're girls of privilege, of course. Uh, and one of them, I'm now forgetting which one of the two girls did do some, some acting. I can't remember. I'd have to check my own book. <laughs> 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 Um, nepotism, sure. If you have like, the names Horn and Lamed in your family, uh, somebody's going to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, I, we're, we actually should try to wrap it up only because there's going to be a lot of people that want to buy the book and have you sign <laughs> oh, it. I so, so. And we're getting the high sign. So, oh, thank you very much. <laughs>